What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Is it on the kickstand still? No, oh no, it's off. She's got that barn dust on her now. Now she's worth more. <laughs> I don't remember if this rack is strong enough. Yeah, it's strong enough. All right. Look at it. Oh, you're filming for YouTube? Yeah. Hey, YouTube. What's up? I ain't seen you in a while. No, no. I think it's in a hole. Right there. One hand. That's right. Come on. Up here. That'll hold it, won't it? I can't remember if it's an 85 or a 6 or what year it was. I... Yeah, I remember losing the key. And drilling the key out, and then Reno found the key. I remember putting this tall battery in it that came out of one of those emergency things. It's got, well, I have no sense of smell. What does that smell like? Dead? Dead gas. Yeah. This uses a separate oiler, but just like on the Yamaha, I didn't trust the oiler, so I used to put a little bit of premix on the fuel. I'm sure the battery's dead. Oh, yeah. Ain't that neat. Let's see if we got a key. So I have found a key. It is not the key, but I have found a key. <laughs> that battery is still charged. What the heck? Look, and the tail light's on. <laughs> no, look, I swear, this is the same battery we just pulled it out with. I mean, I, I know, I've seen it, but I so just can't believe it. So, you set the parking brake, and then this would be the start. No, it's too dead to start. But that means it should have turned the electric choke on. Oh, crap. I think it's stuck. Turn for a second. What happened? Are you hydrolocked? Is there a bunch of fuel sitting in your your carburetor? Let's find out. All right. So it wouldn't turn over. I tried kicking it. Well, you tried putting the truck on it. It still wouldn't turn over, but just a little bit, and then it would stop. So I'm taking the spark plug out, and yeah, super saturation. So, I don't know why I'm smelling it. No sense of smell. That was useless. It's kind of oily looking. So, now, I bet it'll turn over and blow a whole bunch of nasty crap out. So, let me get this hooked up. Right, so, parking brake set, battery's hooked up. was she's got a bunch of crap oh yeah it blew a bunch of nice nasty stuff out that's great that's great i think something bit me on the lip <laughs> oh sorry where are you going Ollie. Ollie. no words okay I look like wishbone you remember wishbone the tv show wishbone you kind of look like wishbone your fur is too long 
kind of like Wishbone. Well, she looks like the dog from Oliver and Company, and I know his name was not Oliver. The cat was Oliver, so I named her Oliver. Let us clean this guy off, says Ollie from Not Oliver and Company. Okay, I've got some good news. I just put the plug back in it. If you look over here, you can see all this blue crap leaking down the side of the engine. That was the two-stroke oil that I had in here. So it probably got hot over the summer. This tank swelled up with pressure, and instead of venting like it should have, it pushed it down into the engine. So on top of that piston is a whole bunch of two-stroke oil. So that's actually not the worst thing to happen. That just means everything was sitting with oil on it. So the rings, cylinder wall, piston, all that good stuff loaded right up with oil, pre-lubricated. So now when we hit it, nope, still too much oil. Yeah, even if I turn the fan backwards a little bit, Almost. Probably so much oil in there it's done foul the plug though, so I doubt that it's gonna, gonna actually start. But it's a A for effort. I mean, it's trying. Yeah, it's still hydro locking. Alright, new plan. Okay. Clean all the crap off my hands. Took the plug out a million times. This is my clean hand, don't worry. What do you think? I can't believe it. I mean, it's a Honda. What do you expect? I'm a little impressed, I'm honest. <laughs> the minute I saw all that oil, I was like, well, that's not good. Headlights on. Oh, I killed it. That's what I get for screwing with it. Right back up. Still gonna need a little bit of love, but we can put it back together now.
Run. Hello. It stopped smoking as much. Yeah, it's still low on oil. So it's uh, it's running. Still having a, some difficulty idling. The battery's trying to charge back up crazily enough. Oh. Well, I made a fool of myself. There we go. As long as you stay on the throttle a little bit, it's okay. The carburetor's probably just dirty. But it's alive, it's a liver. It's not a kidney or a pancreas, but it's a liver. Check her out. So maybe we'll tweak on that carburetor tomorrow at work. Put some more two-stroke oil in it, see if that jug's gonna continue to cooperate or if I need to just start remixing fuel again. There it goes. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's load her up. All right, so the first stop this morning was oil from Ace Hardware. It's not cheaper or anything at Ace. That's just the only place that I was going to be passing this morning. This morning. This morning. All right. Let's go get this thing unloaded and get started on it. All right, so I got the covers off this thing this morning. If you look, there's still some oil in the oil reservoir. I don't know if you saw that sloshing or not, but it's low, but it's still in there, so that's good. See, this is what happened um, to the engine when it sat. The pressure in the tank built up, it pushed through the line, pushed through the pump, which pushes it into the carburetor. Or technically what happened is it went to the front. This is the front of the intake manifold right here. And it goes in right this one, this little one underneath. And so it pushed it in and then it just went straight into the cylinder head. So nothing actually ever went into the carburetor. I don't think it all just went into the intake. So filled the cylinder head up. And honestly, like I said, not the worst thing because shoot it. It kept all the uh, grit and grime and rust and stuff from happening to the cylinder head, so that's good. Uh, today, I'm going to, right now, I'm gonna take some of that acid. I'm gonna try to clean some of this crap off and check the air filter. I don't think I'm gonna pull this carburetor apart. Uh, it's running decent. Um, I might, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, right, so I broke down. I got the uh, carburetor and the ultrasonic cleaner. It was looking kind of dingy. I couldn't get that gasket off, so we left it. I did get the O-ring off for the intake, though. So hopefully it'll survive. All right, okay. Let's we'll see what our soup looks like. here this was not in the worst of condition when I threw it in there but I noticed that the air filter housing or the air box itself I should say not the air box the air filter inside the air box had started coming apart due to oil breaking it down that's a bits and pieces of it have been flying all through the breather, so I'm sure it was getting everywhere that it shouldn't. So that's a jet, but it's adjustable, so half a turn, one turn. I 
half a turn. Almost two turns out. And this has a spring. There it is. Sometimes a check ball, but I don't see a check ball behind this one, so this is just a spring. So now we can go hit this with some compressed air. Wherever my air sprayer is. back Final piece of Honda soup is the float bulb. It looks party good. We go ahead and put our spring and our jet back down in there before I forget. It. Okay, right about there. Let's set that up. Float still looking good. Need on the seat are moving. It's always a good sign. Good day in the neighborhood. And I didn't bring any of the screws with me. So let's journey back over to the bike. Okay, so I've got the carburetor back together. Uh, that's about it. No air box, but I gotta get the rest of the crap out of it. Battery lights, or the oil lights on. Battery's too dead to turn it over, we'll kick it. Losing our rack. Keep in mind, we had this carb all the way apart and empty, so there's no fuel in it yet. go.
Try backing that out some more. Not as happy as I thought she'd be. Still too weak to do the electric start, but the kick. Not too shabby. Let's uh let's put all of our covers back on now, shall we? Okay. She's all back together. I just hosed her down. Didn't even hit it with a brush or nothing. Just wet it. Put some cleaner on it. Wet it again. So that's gonna be good enough to see that goes around the block. I'm pretty excited so far. Everything's doing really well. I even got my original key. Now the key switch is about broke, so it doesn't stay in the switch. But it does turn on. Turn your kill switch to run.
nitro blow in it right at the store and just compress gas. All right, we're about to put gas in it for the first time in four years or so. I'm gonna put premium in it and can't really see it, but it's 474 a gallon. Full <laughs> two dollars thirty one cents. Alrighty, so I have no idea how this is going to work, how good it's going to look, or anything, but we're going to try it. coming in so we don't have long it's got to warm up a little bit Check her out.
not running too bad if you ask me I could probably uh, still do some adjustments that carburetor and the idle I've been playing with it kickstart And I don't know if you heard it when we left the house, but we used the electric start. Oh, what am I doing? So that battery is slowly coming back around. Ain't that crazy? So yeah. I'd like to get some kind of little mount thingy. I'm sure they make them. To hold the camera. Or maybe I just need to buy a GoPro. Uh, I don't have GoPro money right now, so we're not getting a GoPro. But eventually, I'd like to buy one so that I can mount the camera, maybe on my helmet, like up here or something. I don't know. We've got a bunch of country roads out here ride on like i said right now i'm barely on the throttle we're doing about 18 miles an hour it'll run 25 comfortably like a cruising speed it'll do 30 on flat ground with me on it you know i'm pushing 180 pounds so it's not too bad uh, downhill years ago i had this thing jetted just right i could go downhill Peg the speedometer right there where it says high beam. So that's probably about 40 and some change. It was screaming, but it would do it. I was also a lot lighter back then. <laughs> so, yeah, if I can find some kind of mount, we'll do some more riding videos of this thing. Maybe some vlogs or something. I'm wanting to save up and buy a uh, one of those Honda Elites, like a 80. See, I'm barely touching the throttle. I mean, like, barely on it. She's holding 25, so. And I'd like to find, like, an Elite 80 or a 150 to ride back and forth to work. So if anybody's in the southeast and has a Honda Elite that they want to get rid of, I'm in the, I'm in the market to buy. You can find my email and stuff on the channel in the about. Uh, part you can email me. Uh, I've got a telegram you can telegram me or just drop a comment It is sketchy stopping with only the front brakes Front brakes are on the right, rear brakes are on the left. That's gonna end this. It's fixed, it's running. A little late to be into summer, but you know, it is what it is. Now maybe we'll get some couple miles on it and enjoy it. It's got 5,230 on it now. Uh, I think I bought it with 1,900 on it. So I put the other four or 3,000 on there. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.